What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. Now a couple days ago I actually covered how the Cleveland Cavaliers, Dallas Mavericks, New York Knicks were all interested in signing Talon Horton Tucker in this upcoming free agency. But it is now currently being reported that if out of all of them it does look like the New York Knicks are going to be the predominant ones to try and get Talon Horton Tucker. Of course, all that news and information was all being reported by Sean Devani. Now, again, I have spoken about it before where I think Talon Horton Tucker would be an absolute great pickup for the New York Knicks. I do really think it makes a lot of sense for them to keep going and seeking all of this young talent. You know, we've seen now they're actually having a very good season. They're in no rush to really, you know, go out and contend. Um, again, they're not in a situation where, like I thought they were previously going to be, where they could have gone and traded for Chris Paul, Tomato Rosen, and Danilo Gallinari. Then, of course, you know, built a young core, you know, alongside them. And Chris Paul would obviously entice more free agents like Gallinari and Kamala Anthony to potentially come to the team. But instead, they actually took a different direction where Julius Randle is kind of now the guy playing powerful for them. He's actually been doing very good. RJ Barrett's been pretty good this season as well. And they've kind of built like this really nice, balanced young core and balanced team. Now, again, they're going to continue to build on it. Um, I, I do believe that once, you know, the Toronto Raptors and Washington Wizards and Miami Heat pick their crap back up, then again, the New York Knicks will probably go down and be like a 12th or 13th seed or something like that in the Eastern Conference. And I think that just makes the most amount of sense. But if they can try and get nearly 30 wins this season, which I believe they might be able to do, that is a massive success for the New York Knicks. Then they could go out, you know, maybe still try and draft like a Jalen Suggs or someone like that in free agency to be their new future point guard. They can get Talon Horton Tucker in free agency to be their new future uh, small forward. He can play the wing position very similar to like how RJ Barrett can, of course, play it. Obi Toppin will have another strong season potentially next season. Could go out and sign a... Who knows what they're going to do? I don't know if Mitchell Robinson's really that guy at center. I've never been too much of a fan of him, and I don't really think that he's going to be consistently their starting center for the foreseeable future. But then we look at their other spots as well. I do believe they need that starting point guard, which I think they'll get in this season's draft. I think they'll try and go out and get someone like that. I don't know if Julius Randle is in their long-term kind of, you know, future and kind of plans. I mean, I feel like Obi Toppin should be, he's got to start eventually, right? So again, who really knows what they're going to do? Julius Randle will probably get some offer from another team and maybe potentially go there. What team that would be, I'm not exactly too sure. I know there are some teams that, of course, in the league do need, you know, power forwards here and there as well. Um, again, you know, uh, Portland Trailblazers come to mind where it'd be an interesting player to go to. I think it's going to be really interesting how they kind of handle that Julius Randle situation. But for right now, they do need to go get maybe some more young players in free agency. And they really did try and do that. You know, they brought in Austin Rivers, who's not young, but he's like 27 years old. Nerlens Noel as well, who was a very good pickup. I don't know why OKC didn't re-sign him. It just blows my mind that they didn't get him back. Um, he should have been, you know, their future starting center once Al Horford was all done and dusted. I don't know what OKC did there, but again, the Knicks were able to get him. And I think Nerlens Noel is a great backup player to have behind, of course, uh, Mitchell Robinson. And again, when Mitchell Robinson, if he were to get injured or something like that, then Nerlens Noel can be the starter. I think he deserves some starting minutes. You know, again, one time in the NBA to at least see if he can prove that he can be what originally he was drafted to, of course, be. But again, I'm not exactly too sure what's going to be going on there. Um, but yeah, look, who knows? Talon Horton Tucker would be a very nice play for the Knicks, and he could even come off the bench. Like, I mean, the Knicks have been reportedly shopping Kevin Knox for so long, and I really don't know why Kevin Knox is not starting with this team. Kevin Knox has had so many games this season where he's actually been a base and is hitting consistent three-point shooting shots, but yet they're giving starting minutes to Reggie Bullock. It's really, really annoying me. Like, again, Reggie Bullock should not be starting on this team. They should be starting Kevin Knox, but whatever. Kevin Knox still doesn't have a tank, I guess, so you could still blame him. But again, Talon Horton Tucker could definitely be a very nice player for the New York Knicks, but I could definitely see, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers going and re-signing him. You know, potentially in free agency, which will most likely happen. They're going to want a long-term succession plan for once LeBron, 
of course, eventually leaves slash retires. And again, Anthony Davis is going to be about 30 years old or so once his contract is up, or like 28 when LeBron leaves or retires, you know, 2023, or maybe re-signs. I don't see that happening. I see him going and playing with his son or retiring. But again, when we look at it like this as well, you got Talon Horton Tucker could definitely get re-signed with the Lakers, and I think they should do that because, look, the Lakers are actually putting a long-term succession plan into LeBron, and no one's talking about it. They got Kyle Kuzma for the next three seasons as well, who, again, could definitely be a, a constant role player throughout his, throughout his whole career. Anthony Davis will be there, you know, past LeBron as well. Talon Horton Tucker, they could try and get for a four-year, like, $11 million deal as well. That means he will most likely play, you know, in a Lakers jersey longer than what LeBron will. Again, once LeBron either retires or leaves or whatever he does, these players will be, you know, next up. Talon Horton Tucker definitely feel like a breakout in the league one day. Not as a all-star, but definitely as a very good player. And again, who knows if he's going to be able to do that in the Lakers. But I feel like to the Knicks, he could definitely, you know, push it and try and be like a player like that. But again, of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this. Do you guys think the New York Knicks should sign Talon Horton Tucker? Do you guys think the Lakers should bring him back? How much is he worth? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to my sports channel for all the latest sports news and content. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Never forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.